Hi, I'm Doreen. Thanks for joining us for another adventure in music theory. We have just left the German bakery in episode 5, where we explore different kinds of notes and rest values. Be sure you watch that episode first. Each lesson builds in sequence. If you look out the window way down there as we touch down, you may see something rather interesting. Yes, deep under the ocean, you can see spotted sea creatures, sea horses, spotted trunkfish. On land, spotted dogs, appaloosa, dotted butterflies, snakes, frogs, and ladybugs. But welcome to our safari adventure. The world's most magnificent spotted animals are roaming in all of their splendor in Kenya, Africa. As we head to Masai Mara National Reserve, where these breathtaking Beautiful animals are going to help assist us in learning about dots. Here we are. Spectacular. The cheetah has about 200 dark spots. The pigment has to do with cell activators surrounded by inhibitor cells. But the dots help camouflage them as they hide in tall grass. The cheetah is the fastest land animal on earth, not to be confused with the leopard whose spots are a dark black circle patch with a rust brown dot inside. Zebras have amazing stripes, but recently a Maasai guide was the first to notice dots on a baby zebra named Tira. The dots are not seen in this photo. Also native to Africa, the spotted bird is a helmeted guinea fowl. They love to eat ticks. Ticks would otherwise spread Lyme disease. The giraffe, the tallest animal, is 18 feet high. Its legs measure 6 feet tall and can run 35 miles per hour. Always standing, they only need 30 minutes of sleep a day. Just as an animal's dots help with important camouflaging, the dots placed on the side of music notes also play a very important role. Be careful you don't confuse them with dots above or below notes, which are quick pop staccato articulations, which we will explore at another time. We can add a dot on the side of any note or to any of its matching rests. There's only one rule to remember. The dot on the side increases or extends the duration, the length, of a note or rest, making it longer. How much longer? By another 50% or half the value of the note. Value has to do with music math. This will be so easy, you will love this. We are skipping the double whole note or brief, which we so rarely see. Let's start with the whole note or semi-brief. Step one. You know that a whole note or semi-brief gets four beats, yes? Step two, put a dot on the side of it, and now take your whole note or semi-brief, which gets four, cut it in half, so split, it equals two plus two. Only keep half and add that extra two for your dot, which now extends it for a total of six. There are many combinations for six beats. It also equals three half notes or minims for two plus two plus two, which equals six, which replaces the dot. Think you got it? Let's try the next one. You know that a half note or minim equals two beats, right? Step two, put a dot on the side of it, and now take your half note or minim, cut it in half, so now split, you have one plus one. Keep half and add that extra one for your dot, which now extends it for a total of three. Earlier you memorized that it gets three beats, but now you know why. There are many combinations to equal three beats, but also three quarter crotchet notes at one plus one plus one equal three. Getting it? Let's try the next one. You know what a quarter or crotchet note gets. Yes, one beat. Step two, put a dot on the side of it and now take your quarter or crotchet note. Cut it in half, so now split, you have half plus a half, like half a candy bar and half a candy bar. Keep half and add the extra half for your dot, which now extends it for a total of one and a half. There are many combinations to equal one and a half beats, but three eighths or quavers at a half plus a half plus a half also equal one and a half. See how that third eighth or quaver is the dot? On a roll, let's try one last one. You're doing great. So 
Step one, you know that an eighth or quaver gets half of one B, yes? Step two, put a dot on the side of it and now take your eighth or quaver note. Cut a half in half, which equals a fourth of one, a quarter of one. Keep half, add the extra quarter for your dot, which now extends for a half and a quarter, equaling a total of three quarters of one. Again, there are many combinations of three quarters, but also three sixteenths or semiquavers at a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter equal three quarters of one beat. This segment is more advanced. If you're curious and ready, let's do it. Regarding substitutions, we can substitute sixteenths or semiquavers with eighths quavers. First, let's see how all these notes line up in four positions. Let's substitute here. An eighth quaver takes up two sixteenth semiquaver positions. Or substitute the first eighth quaver with two sixteenth semiquavers. Or substitute the second eighth quaver with two sixteenth semiquavers. Or substitute the second and third position of four sixteenth semiquavers with one eighth quaver. So there are many rhythmic substitutions, but with dots, a dotted eighth quaver takes up three sixteenth semiquaver positions because it has three parts. So you can substitute with a dotted note in the front here or in the back here. Once you are clear on this, you can enjoy so many more rhythmic possibilities. That was a huge accomplishment in understanding how dotted notes work. Ta-da! So here is our list of common dots. Otherwise, just use the same step-by-step -step process we just did. So let's see if you can answer these questions on dotted notes. Here we go. Are these dots dotted quarter or dotted crotch notes, yes or no? No, the dot must be on the right side. These are staccato dots. A dot on the side of a note or rest increases its duration or length. A dot on the side of a note increases its duration by how much? 50% or half the value of the note. This equals how many beats? Six. This equals how many beats? Three. This equals how many beats? One and a half. This equals how many beats? Three quarters of one beat. Done. Wow, that segment can be so tricky. It's easier ahead. Tied notes also extend the duration of a note. A tie is a curved line joining two same letters of the same pitch. For example, F to F. Even their values are different, say two beats tied to one beat. They are still tied as long as they are the same letter across. The pitch is the same, like G to G. You play it like it is one note. Play the first note only and hold the second note down for its extra value. So two plus one more equals three. Here's another. Play the first note and hold the second note for its extra value. So two plus two more equals four. They have to be two same letters to be tied like two same sneakers tied together. Are these two tied? No, there is a connecting line, but those are two different letters or pitches. Don't be fooled. A curve line that connects a group of all different notes is a slur line, phrase mark, meaning to play them all smoothly, legato. More on that later. You may even see ties extending over multiple measures or bars. More on that later. Like when the baby elephants, the calves, hold tails to keep up. So cute. These measures do sound and feel the same, but it's always better to use other note values if you can, rather than tied notes. These measures are the same, but using the dotted note makes it cleaner and clearer to read. More on counting later. Just notice it looks better. The tied mark is drawn from note head to head, outside and away from the stems. 
not to be placed anywhere in this area. Yes, correct. Even with the stems up, it is drawn head to head outside and away from the stems. No, the tide mark must be head to head away from the stems. Can you answer these quick questions on tide notes? Here we go. Tide notes, like dotted notes, also extend the duration of the rest. True, you add the value of the first plus the second note. A tie is a curve line joining blank, blank, blank. Two same pitches. You play the first pitch and blank the second. Hold the second. Are these notes tied? No, the line connects a group of different notes. What is the total number of beats held? Three. What is the total number of beats held? Four. What is the total number of beats held? Nine. Which one is drawn correctly? A. Which one is drawn correctly? A and done. Congratulations, you are soaring in this episode. Be aware of the dots. In beautiful nature, they help camouflage for continued survival, extending life. In music, dots extend additional value or duration to a note or rest. We had a fabulous day one with you in Kenya. See you in the morning for stems, flags, and tails. In Lesson 7, good night. Thank you.